Well, have I got a fantastic vegetarian treat for you guys today. We've got sage, squash, and chestnut rolls. It's fantastic. We've got this beautiful um, squash here. So this is a butternut squash um, from the pumpkin family. A little bit sweeter and a nicer, richer texture than pumpkin. That's what I find. We've got these beautiful chestnuts. Um, it's not Christmas, but they are great. You can use them outside of December. Don't be scared. We've got beautiful fresh sage, beautiful combination, bit of cheese in there. We're going to make a mix. We're going to put it in some puff pastry. We're going to roll them. It's going to be great. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and Mark, something I've never cooked before. Chestnuts. Really? Yeah, I've never used them. I only usually think of them at Christmas time, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> um, but it is true. I mean, you do have, you do sort of eat them at Christmas time, really, yes, don't you? Yeah, never tend to eat them any other time of the year. A lot of kids play conkers with them. I used to. Do, I used to Did do you? that. Yeah, I used oh, to have like a, a, an 80 or 100 conker. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. All these, but uh, today we're actually going to use them, aren't <laughs> we? Yeah, today we're going to cook them. So these are actually from uh, tins. Yes. So they're actually really soft, so you just open the tin, they're really soft, so you can oh, just eat them like that, so they're that. really nice. But if you get fresh ones, and it is sort of the time of the year now when you can actually get fresh ones, um, just want to roast them like in an open fire. Sounds like mm. a cliche, but they're yeah. really... <laughs> it sounds like a song, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Uh, but they're really nice. Um, don't get them too hot, because they do explode, so can just I... giving them a quick oh, really? break. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. there's a tip for you. Learn the um, hard can one. I try one? Yeah, yeah, can go, you eat them like go. this? It looks like a mushroom. Right, so the, the, uh, the butternut squash, so, um, just nice. It'll be nicer with everything else. Debatable. No, I like them. I love them. Anyway, so, I'm a fan of butternut. So here we go. Yeah, so these are great. So a big pumpkin, you've got lots of seeds inside. Like the butternuts, you've just got a small pocket of seeds. So just uh, cut it in half, scoop it out. Yep. And then what we're going to do is going to roast this pumpkin first. So we're not going to peel it. So we're just going to cut it into wedges or some nice strips. Pop it on a tray. And then we're going to go in a nice hot oven, about 180 degrees or so. 108, yeah. Yeah. Just for about 30, 40 minutes, just until the, you know, get a bit of colour on your pumpkin, get it nice and soft. Awesome. And then it's going to be really, really easy to scoop. Um, okay. Scoop the flesh out, chop it up, mash it up, and then that's going to be the base um, to hold all our mix together. Brilliant. Right. I'm, I'm quite excited about this recipe. Why? Uh, well, because I like pumpkin. Yep. I don't know about the chestnuts, but I do like sage <laughs> as well. <laughs> Uh, so the combination of everything to get and pastry. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Okay, cool. This is going to be exciting. Right. So now we're going to make the filling. Yep. So a little bit of onion. So we're just going to sweat that down first. Yep. I can do uh, that for you. Yep. So mm. just chop it up, and then just going to get it in there. So just soften it, and then we're going to put a little bit of garlic in there as well. Yep. And a little bit of sage, but you don't want to put the sage in too soon. Now, it's quite a firm vegetable, so you can sort of warm it and cook it, but you don't want to... If you get it in too early, you're just going to sort of overcook it and you're going to lose that freshness of flavour. OK, cool. So you want a little bit of heat just to get the flavour out. Nice. But just have it all chopped, ready to go, but we want the uh, onions sweated down first. And then we're going to put a bit of garlic in there, and then we're going to put our chestnuts in there as well. And remember, the chestnuts are cooked or are soft or ready to go, so we're just going to chop them and they can just go through. We don't want any, you know, overcooking or extra cooking. So that's what makes the recipe really, really uh, fast and simple. OK, so the sage you put in later. This is cooking in the oven. We're sweating yep. down the onions. We've got the garlic. By the way, if you need the recipes or any of the other recipes, just go to the cafe.co.nz. Hey, um, while you're chopping up your... Yeah, and I've just got a bit of dry chilli here as well. Chili. And uh, so, obviously, this is optional if you want, if people don't like any spice. But you put a little bit of dry chilli onto your pumpkin, pumpkin. as well. OK, Into cool. the oven as well. That just gives it a nice little bit of flavour. So we've got olive oil, we've got salt and a little bit of dried yep. chilli. That goes cool. in. Cool. So we're just going to soften that. Nice. A couple more minutes. I'm going to chop the chestnuts, and that's ready to go in last minute with the sage. Give it another minute on the stove, into the bowl, and then wait for your pumpkin to be cooked. Rolls, that's what we're making. I was standing there before thinking, what are we doing? Are we <laughs> stuffing the, the butternut or what? No, we're making rolls, which is why we've got the pastry. Now, before you go any further, I need to congratulate you. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, you. top 50 restaurant in Thank Auckland. Thank you. Yep, yep. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole team behind it as well, so it's not just me, so it's the whole team, so congratulations. Oh, no, but I was going to say there'd be a bit of pressure if you're the chef, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the boss gets the list. Uh, Mark, <laughs> we're not on the top 50. Uh, I've been to his restaurant, went a couple of weeks ago, absolutely beautiful. Uh, you spoiled us too, so thank you for that, Mark. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Right. O'Connell Street Bistro, if you're ever in Auckland. Okay, right, let's get back right. to it. Pumpkin, so yes. we've roasted it with the chilli, so we're just going to uh, peel it now. So easy enough to peel, get a knife or just sort of rub it off, whatever you want to. Yep. So still, there's a little bit of texture in here now, which is quite good. So it's not going to go down to a puree. We've got, we've got some texture in there. So peel it, 
chop it into a bowl or put it into a bowl and then you've got a fork there so you to can mash. start mash. How mashing long did this that? take to get soft? Oh, like about 35, 40 minutes. Okay, cool. Not too long. So I've just finished off the mix here. So the onions are sweated down with the garlic. I've just put the chestnuts and the sage in. Cooked it for about another minute and just letting that cool down. You can see the sage is still nice and green. Got wonderful um, fragrances coming off there and it's still textured. Yes, it does smell incredible. How often would you use chestnuts in a recipe? They're not very commonly used. I just they? use them at Christmas time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and here, making these rolls. And there you go. And we've still got a little bit of cheese going in there as well with a hot pumpkin. So you can just mash that up. That's going to sort of slowly melt, melt into it. And then we're going to add all the rest of our mix in oh, here. Good. Okay. So that goes in. Yep. Give it a good mix around. Squash any sort of big bits. But it's all about texture and filling now. Oh, yum. This is smelling incredible with the cheese, the pumpkin, the sweetness of the pumpkin. All right, that's it. You give it a little taste. See if we need any more salt and pepper. Okay. I mean, what if you don't have chestnuts? Is there something else you could use? Because this base recipe is oh, yeah, phenomenal yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah, you could use some nuts as well. Walnuts in there, oh, almonds, yeah. you yep. know, any, anything you want. I mean, if you can't get an ingredient, just substitute it with your favourite ingredient. Oh, nice. So, just got a little bit of pastry. So, it's just store-bought pastry, so it's, it's conveniently cut and rolled into nice little squares. <laughs> Just going to roll it fractionally mm. a little bit more. That is really good. You're right about the texture and that little hint of sage comes through, doesn't it? Right at the end. It's quite yeah. refreshing. It's great. Really nice. So just remember, don't, you know, don't keep cooking the sage, otherwise you're going to lose, lose that, that, that yeah. freshness. That, I need a little bit of salt pepper in there, though, I reckon. A bit of salt, a little bit a bit salt, of salt pepper. Yeah. Thanks, Chef. OK, guys, there you go. <laughs> Season it up. I did a big taste test before. Don't get me to taste it again, otherwise there'll be none left. <laughs> right, so we've got our mixture. So make sure you've got all the ingredients in there. So just going to sort of mould it and shape it down. I'm quite impressed, actually, because the other half's decided to go meat-free, which is crazy. Really? Um, <laughs> but... That, does that mean you're meat-free now? Well, potentially, yes. <laughs> uh, so this is good. This is something I can make. And, 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 and this would be great with bacon with. in there, so oh. you can make you can make <laughs> yeah. one mix. So you can make you can make theirs just vegetarian, and then add some bacon into yours. Yeah, that's you right. Your yeah, mind's got bacon in it. That's it. So just uh, a little bit of egg yolk, yep. just just whisked up, and then I'm just going to brush it around the side, and then that's just going to help the pastry stick, and then just going to roll it over. So keeping it nice and tight, yes. and just keep rolling, and then you've got that fold underneath. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you overlap at the bottom. You want to overlap. Yeah, you want to overlap a yep. little bit, not too much because it's extra pastry, but the weight on there is going to push it down, so that's fine, and then it's going to prove and bake up from the sides, you know, so right. hopefully it won't split. It's going to push the uh, sides down. And we're so not going like to trim those sides off? I'm just getting to that mark. <laughs> I say it's like a little bit like a Christmas cracker, isn't yeah, it? Doesn't yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. With and then if you do that on the side, you get a nice little frilly things. Oh, that's pretty. Get that, and then brush it, a little bit more egg wash over the top. Oh, yes. And then, you know, you can be a bit fancy now. You can put anything you want on there. I'm just going to be a bit boring. A little bit of salt and pepper right. on the top. But you could put sesame seeds on there. You could put some spices on there. You could even put some chopped nuts on there. And have you used flaky pastry for this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this so is a, a flaky, a flaky a puff pastry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so just like a sausage roll, but yeah, exactly. vegetarian. Yeah, with no sausage. <laughs> with no sausage. Nice. And that's okay, it. good. Okay, yeah. well, we'll keep filling them up. We'll get a couple in the oven. We'll show you the finished product very soon. Mark, how's your sausage rolls looking? <laughs> they are done. They are cooked. <laughs> Chop them up. A little bit of sauce on the side, and you can get stuck into them. Nice. They look that. absolutely incredible.